Motherfucking tutorial if you motherfuckers can't hear me. Now, I'm pretty fucking hungover right now, so bear with me. I ain't gonna be a hundred percent like I usually am. So, first thing we need to do, tear this motherfucker apart. But first, I'm gonna show you what I use. Got a little pick here. Almost looks like a little dentist tool. Got my Sandisk card reader. You're gonna need one of these motherfuckers, a little sand disc. Got a USB, that way I can plug it in my computer, because my, comp my laptop's a little old, doesn't have one of those ports. So that's what I got. A little fucking digi power, or whatever the fuck it is. Got that. You're gonna need an old credit card to put your thermal paste on. You're gonna need some styrofoam. I'll get into that later. Gonna need a clamp, C clamp, like this. Believe it or not, we're gonna put this motherfucker on the motherboard of your PS3. Then, you're gonna need the big bad boy, E3 flasher. This motherfucker's nice. Right there. And on this, as you can see, I shaved the sides down with a razor blade. I'll show you why in a little bit. <clears throat> You're gonna need a Torx head, a T8 Torx head to take those fucking safety screws out. Phillips head screwdriver. Couple cotton swabs. Double sided tape. And last but not least, some fucking cardboard. Now, we're gonna Tear this motherfucker off. Haha, <laughs> phase will drain my fucking balls. Alright. <clears throat> now, and you're gonna need some denatured alcohol. Let's get started. First, let's pop all these motherfucking safety covers off. These motherfuckers just come off, and whenever you get a PS3, you always want to buy it with a safety seal still intact. That way you know some fucking cocksucker never fucking took it apart. Because you don't want to get into someone else's fucking problems. You know what's funny? You get bitch ass motherfuckers like FaZe Wolf to talk shit. If that motherfucker see me on the street. He would fucking look down at the ground. Motherfucker wouldn't even have the balls to fucking stare at me down in the face. Alright. Now I'll pop those little rubber feet off. Just letting you guys know right now. It's like a motherfucking hundred degrees where I am. Boston. Actually, this one don't come off. Alright. I already took out the T8 safety screws, three of them, on this model. Now, we can put this bitch together. Let me, uh, what's it called? Aim this thing correctly. So you can see what I'm doing. There we go a little better and I'm telling you right now this thing is dirty real dirty now you guys are probably going to want to take the screws put them in little piles and kind of label them I've been doing this for a while so I just toss them all in one big motherfucking pile I don't give a fuck Up. Now what we're doing right now is just splitting the cases. Pull these fucking screws up. Let's 
alright. I got tons of screws. Now you can Google on to see if your PS3 is compatible compatible with BJ Broke. On the back of your PS3, there's going to be a sec number, C E C H. Then it's going to say 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. 2,000 models are, are jailbreakable. Mm -hmm. So, got those screws out. Sometimes these things are a cunt to pull out. Now you're going to want to yank out the hard drive. Let's see. Got all those fuckers out. Oh yeah, I want to take that safety sticker. It's going to be one more screw right behind the safety sticker, I believe. Hell yeah. That's how you know the PS3 has never been opened. That safety sticker. This one's always a ton to pull out. There we go. Last screw. Now, that over. Now we can pull this motherfucker off. Pull it from the back, and it should come right off. Like so. Damn. Look how dirty that motherfucker is. Dirty motherfucker. Let me, now you're going to want to grab your vacuum, clean this bitch. Fucking Don't be surprised if there's cockroach shit. All right. Now there's so much dust in here that I can't even get it out my vacuum. That's how nasty this shit is. So you're going to want to pull this fucking shit right the fuck out. Now, the reason why I'm doing this on a live stream, because I don't have time to edit videos and all that bullshit, so you guys are getting the real fucking deal. Real time shit. Set that aside. <clears throat> All right. Now we move on to the next step, which is we got to split the case. So these two things right here, those are your heat sink clamps. You got to pull those motherfuckers off. Unscrew those. And bear with me, I'm fucking hung over like a bastard. Alright, heat sink clamps off. Put those over there. Set those motherfuckers off on the side. Now, your shield, 
has a couple screws in it. I'm gonna have to pull those motherfuckers off. Thank you, got one, two, three, four, four screws, or five. So just make sure to pull those out. There's a little arrows pointing on. If you don't know what the fuck you're doing, just follow the arrows. This is like a heat shield. Or a dust shield. Didn't really do too fucking good with the dust, considering what the hell he's found in there. Let me grab a drink real quick. It's fucking hot as fuck here. Alright. Damn, this thing hasn't been apart in fucking 10 years. Well, probably 7 since it was made in 2010. Alright. This should be the last screw, and then we pull the heat shield on. Here comes the heat shield. Oh, surprisingly, not that fucking bad. <clears throat> so now, what we want to do... We gotta pull this motherfucker off. What we gotta do is pull the motherboard from the heat sinks. This is where you wanna be very, very careful. Just give me one second, and I'll be right there doing it. All right, so you see your hard drive right here. You want to take your thumb, put it right underneath this motherboard, and pull up gently. You don't want to go too hard, else you'll break your motherboard. Now, the thermal paste is what's making the contact, so we got to break that seal. So bring it up, bring it up, bang! We got that bitch. Wow, look how dirty those fuckers Dirty fucking people, man. So we slide this out through the ports. Come on, bitch. One little clip holding it in. There we go. We got some wires holding that. Oh, what did I forget to pull? Oh, I forgot to pull the thin wire. No biggie. There we go. Fan wire is pulled. Now this bitch should just come right on out. All right. Now look at your no those, that's your CPU and GPU. Look at that nasty white shit. That's your thermal paste. That looks terrible. <laughs> Clean the dust off that. All right. That's disgusting. 